Hey everybody, welcome back to Back Country Amateur Radio. Uh, yet another video on the FT25R. I thought I was kind of done with this, but then I had a question in one of the comments about programming this for a different repeater offset than the standard um, 0.6 megahertz on VHF. So we'll look into that. The specific request for was for what would normally be in the USA for I believe public service frequencies, but if you are a Mars enabled license to use those frequencies and this radio, um, so be it. But I'm going to show you how to use a bizarre offset using the VFO split on this radio within amateur bands. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get into programming this with a different offset, but uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it and so we can call it my repeater and then we'll make the adjustments to show kind of a bizarre number. So anyway, my local repeater is the Wilson repeater. It's 147.2 with a positive offset of 0.6 megahertz and a tone of 88.5 hertz. So it works, and just out of the sake of time, I'm not gonna call it up right now. What I'm going to do is show you how to use the VFO-A and VFO-B with the VFO split to operate the repeater. So let's go over to VFO. Right now, notice that there's nothing up top, no positive, no plus, no minus, so no offsets. And there's also no tone, which is gonna be TTN or whatever. Um, right now, I actually have the main repeater. This is so I can listen, so this is a, a, like the downlink, if you will. And to key up the repeater, you're going to be talking into 147.8 megahertz, but we need to program a tone. Let's see how, if I change the VFO-B, it doesn't change the VFO-A. You switch the VFO with the VFO button, obviously, but for the sake of getting this to work with the repeater, we're going to leave it there. So basically set your two frequencies that you need, your uplink, downlink. And uh, since 1478 is the tone or the frequency to key up the repeater, I need to set the keying tone on the 147.8. So hold down the function button, go into your functions. First thing you need to do uh, in order to get this function to work as a VFO split is menu 34, VFO split, hit function again, and turn that on. Function to get out, and let's go down to, um, well actually we need to go up because we need to define squelch type. Right now the squelch type is off. Squelch type, and when you program a squelch type on the VFO, it is specific to the VFO A or B, which is really handy in this case. So. Let's turn this on, whoops, hold down. Let's turn this on and that, all you have to do is hit the arrows. So it is a single tone. Now don't confuse that with a squelch. We just need a tone. So main hit function to get back out. So now we've set VFO split, we've set the tone type. Let's go set our tone. Now, if you don't need to set a tone, if your repeater system doesn't need a tone, or the system you're using doesn't need a tone, then don't worry about these last two steps. So enter this, your CTCSS, uh, hit function again, and this actually is already programmed to the tone that I need. Make sure this is off or else you won't be hearing anything on the receive, unless, of course, your repeater is programmed that way. So with that again, hold down to back out. And that's all we need to do here, hold down to back out. So now we see 147.8 has got a tone function and we know it's programmed to 88.5. VFO A is my listening station. So here's what we'll do. We'll key up the repeater. KI7WJP. So as you see there, um, 
I need to be on whatever frequency is showing, whether it's VO, VFOA or VFOB, whatever is on your main display, that is the frequency you're going to be listening to. Notice when I depressed your PTT, it changed over to the outgoing signal. So just be aware of that. But that's how you program that. And now, obviously, if I switch over to B, this is my listening channel or listening frequency. And I know that's not what I want. So um, just for example, I'll try that. KI7WJP. And obviously it switched over to 147.2 and it didn't do anything. So um, that being said, the last step here, if you have an odd offset, program it to the offset you need. Notice that 147.2 hasn't changed. So now watch this, the frequency has changed enough that it will not uh, activate my repeater. KI7WJP. But now, I know it didn't hit the repeater, so either way, now I know I have a 0.635 megahertz offset in positive. Now, obviously, if you need a negative offset, you just do whatever that is. One, four, six in this case, um, 60. And so that's a negative 600 offset. Let's go back here and you can see that. It's minus 0.6. Uh, anyhow, that's it. That's, uh, that's so, so basic, and hopefully that is useful. Um, don't forget to change out or turn off the VFO split feature when you go back to normal VFO mode. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me for a VFO split tutorial on the FT25R. I could probably say safely this FT65R as well. The difference between the two radios is this is a monoband VHF radio. Um, probably a good one to have is, is the FT65R, you might as well. I mean, this similarly priced, uh, similar menus, and uh, you just get that extra band. So anyhow, thank you to all the new subscribers, and thank you for those who have stuck with me. Hopefully we'll see this grow some more, and uh, we'll get some more action in the videos. Uh, stay safe out there in the backcountry, and stay safe out there anyway. We'll see you down the road.